Okay, we're awake. Late? No, I said we're awake. Oh, I you said late. So we got up, started nice. getting our stuff on in camo with guns, yeah. and a guy pulls up in a car that says Oregon on the front of it. <laughs> and he's like, y'all go over here? Yeah. No. Yeah. We're on our annual bro trip to take hikes through the woods. So, um, so we went back to his car. And he's like, well, can I hunt here? I was like, dude, I was like, we've been here since one o'clock. I can't tell if you can or can't. Uh, I can tell you if you'd be a decent human if you do decide to hunt here since we've you know, been sitting in this spot all night long. Um, so anyways, he goes back over to his car. He takes a, sh a shit over here. I, I swear he took a poop. Yeah. It smelled so bad. And then he drove off. So shit on us.
Alabama long beard down, baby. Right off the bat. <laughs> oh. A good one too. Dag gum it, son. I cannot believe I killed one right off the limb. <coughs> I'm really about to puke. I cannot believe that just happened. I didn't know what to do. I really expected to, excuse me for a second. I really expected to hear more birds in here. So me and Alex kind of split up and went separate ways and this bird was like right on the line of like where like he should go after it and I should go after it so I just kind of played it safe didn't get real too aggressive with this bird and I freaking got me a dang first kill with the Stevens 301 20 gauge and them ninja shells are bad <laughs> oh my god this is just a blessing i just i don't deserve this god is good man what a bird a decent little average beard on him Whew. had the camera back there i don't know if he was in frame or not but he had that look about him like i think i see you so i was like oh, i think i'm gonna go ahead and shoot so let me go over my setup real quick. First of all, you see this backdrop behind me kind of drops down in this valley. So I actually come up through here this morning and got about right here. And when he gobbled again facing me, I knew he was freaking close. So it's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bust this bird. I don't wanna work uphill to him with him that close. So I look back, found a good sized tree and I knew that backdrop behind me would hide me decently. So this morning being aggressive at first, but a little passive at the end paid off. And uh, I, I knew instantly looking when I got in here this morning, like there's all kinds of scratches right down in here. Tons of turkey scratching, all these hardwood bottoms. This time of year, this is the first thing to green up. This is the first place the birds want to go. Oh my God. <coughs> Man, I can't believe it. Just got back to my tree and my camera is angled down like that pretty bad. So you guys know that if there's no footage whatsoever, that uh, more than likely that has failed me. Man of the hour finally made it over here. He got to listen to the whole thing. <laughs> One of us is going to kill this bird. He said, that turkey's tree hopping. It's so dang early. He was. I swear he was flying from tree to tree. He said, well, he's going to take him. Well, he's going to die. Like I said, the dang thing was so close to the freaking part where you're like, should he go after him or I go after him? So we were both kind of on both sides of him. And I don't know. Yeah. Um, like the, when I first heard him hit the ground, like when he gobbled on the ground, I didn't hear him fly down. As soon as he gobbled on the ground, I could hear him spitting and drumming. I'm like, God dang, he's close. And then I see, I just seen his little body just sneaking through the trees like these stupid wood turkeys do. God, dude. And uh, he was going hard this way. I freaking jerked my gun up and pointed it this way. Next time I seen him, he was about 15 yards to the left. I'm like, how did you do that? So I, <laughs> I had to turn was... my gun. And uh, I don't know if he caught a glimpse of me or what, but he, he stuck his head up like he was either looking for the hen or he had seen me. But either way, I wasn't wasting no time. And that's probably one of the first turkeys I've seen that gobbled like that on freaking public. That's for sure. Nice little three-year-old. <laughs> he sure don't act like no three-year-old. No. That's like a Jake. Yeah. I was hoping Can it was you a... somebody crow calling back here. Was it really? Pretty sure it was a really messed up crow if it wasn't. Well, there's some Alabama people for you. 
my YouTube channel is going to go, meow. <laughs> It's the squeakiest crystal. It's like, uh, well, we can, we can drop, do? we can drop a pin, pin on him and, and ease on back in there because, I mean, who knows how far you can really hear a turkey, you know? There could be one over top of this hill. Oh, Dude, over there. that mountain? I know there's more birds back in there. I oh, can't yeah. believe he's the only one we heard gobble. So you're looking at two fools. That slept on the side of the road from <laughs> one o'clock until what was it? Right at four four forty five or something like that. Got up, started getting ready. And some weird dude pull up and literally take a crap beside our truck because we told him, Hey, we're gonna hunt in here. It's like I can't tell him no. But I'm not fixing to say, Yeah, sure, we slept here since one o'clock. I'd love for you to come and join us. So <laughs> So, anyways, man, it's just a matter of luck being in the right place at the right time this morning. And uh, this bird was fired up, as you can uh, tell on the video. But, um, unfortunately, my uh, tripod top was a little loose. So, once again, you've got a really crappy video from me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, anyways. <laughs> it sounds really cool. Uh, but right off the bat, man, he gobbled uh, first time at 6.09 this morning. <laughs> it wasn't very long after he gobbled the last time. <laughs> Shot him in uh, 45 yards with my new 20 gauge, uh, and them Apex shots are pretty sweet because they leveled him, flopped just a few times, and uh, we got us a dead turkey here in Alabama, and we're thinking we heard another one on over, probably, what, 9,000 miles or yeah, something like that. 9,000. So, <laughs> so we're going to stick this bird in the tree and uh, go see if we can get Alex one because it's uh, – Pretty early. Why can't I shoot my turkeys next to the road? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go 10 miles back. That's right. Shoot mine so I can carry it all the way back. All right. Awesome.